Welcome back to Drinking By Myself. My name is Emma and this is my sister Sophie back again. We have managed to form a support bubble and so oh, yeah. we're back in business. And we are doing a follow up to a video series that we did. Video one was like a year ago. The no, first one. It feels was like it a year ago, wasn't it? When in was March. It? I mean, that's basically it was right a year before, ago. yeah. Half a year ago. More than a bit. Long, long time ago. <laughs> that video, which was immediately before lockdown. Okay. Sophie read me the first lines of some of the books on my TBR and then I picked which ones I was excited about. Mm -hmm. I will link to that below. Yeah. Part two came during lockdown. Mm -hmm. I read Sophie the first lines of books that she wanted to read. Yeah. She picked which she was yes. most excited about. We have now finally both read all five books from each video and we're going to tell you if we were right. And this video, very excitingly, is sponsored by Skillshare. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about Skillshare and how I've been using them at the end of the video. So keep watching. And are we going to acknowledge at some point we're wearing the same outfit? Oh no! <laughs> we're wearing the same outfit! I think we should just not mention it. <laughs> we always do this. <laughs> so, I have got here the notes from our last two videos. Oh yeah, because I actually can't even remember yeah. which ones were So his. I went through and I watched both videos okay. and I wrote them down, our expectations. Okay. So we're going to start with you. Okay, cool. The book. We're going to go in order from best to worst w of what based I on ranked predictions. Okay. Yeah. And then we will, you'll re-rank it at the end. Okay. Also, bear in mind that I am a good person and after we did the video, I read all of mine immediately. Yeah. You have only just read yours. So I now can't remember anything that happened in mine because I read them like five months ago. Yeah. Some of mine I read a long time ago too. I just spread it out. Okay. Your number one book yes. that you predicted of the group you would love the most was this one, Five People You Meet in Heaven. Oh my God, was it? By Mitch I really Arden. did not like this one. So the first line of that was, this is a story about a man called Eddie, and it begins at the end with mm. Eddie dying in the sun. I remember that. And your reaction to that was, oh, that sounds fun. Was it? Yeah. I think maybe it was oversold to mm. me. I was like quite excited for it to end. Oh, interesting. Because I was a bit bored. I loved it, but I haven't read it since I was about 12. That maybe makes sense to me because I felt like it was almost thought it was cleverer than it was. Mm. It was like trying to say a lot of things that were meant to be very profound and actually were just a bit boring. Yeah. So I had the same thing. I read another book from him called Tuesdays with Maury, which is also very famous. Is that the sequel? It's non no, it's oh. non fiction. There is a sequel, isn't there? But yes. no, it's here okay. it says Tuesdays with Maury. It's a non fiction book that everyone like raves about for being so meaningful and I was very, very bored. And it's non fiction. Mm. So what's it about? It's about his Tuesdays where he goes and visits Maury, who's an old professor of his, I think, who is dying and he like it's like the life lessons that he learns from Maury. Oh, so it like should be very sweet, but I was just a bit like, yeah. just not ready for this old man to die. Okay. You know? So sorry, Mitch, not for me. So where would you rank it in your five? Right at the bottom. Well, I can't remember. You'll need to tell me that. Yes, yeah, but for, for now. For now, at the low bottom. down. Very interesting. My number one that I predicted was Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. The first line of and this And that's the one that everyone told you not to read. Yeah. Everyone's like, you'll hate it. The first line is, dear Ed, in a sec, you'll hear a thunk. Um, love it. Yeah. Yeah, I remember doing this in the video. Yeah. And all of your followers were like, it's really bad, don't read it. And you were like, I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, it was in Trash My TBR and everyone was yes. like, it's the worst, you're like, trash it, it's the worst book. You stuck and to I your guns. And I read it, I stuck to my guns. Well I completely done, agree with everything they said. You liked it. But I liked it. And it's Lemony Snickets now. Yeah. They were just like, the characters are annoying yeah. and pretentious. And, and they were annoying and pretentious. In it. It's got pictures in it. What's that meant to be? A rubber band. Reader, it does in fact look like a rubber band. Yeah. Yeah. Not reader. Viewer. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> anyway. What is that? It's what people say on the radio. Is it? And they're like, hi, long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> I was wondering if you could play a song for my nephew who's studying college today. Oh, that was quite specific. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say when I call up. Yeah. Um, so I was right. I knew yes, from the well first done. line I would like it, and so I did. So where's it going? I'm going to put it number one for now, but I don't. I think it's going to get dropped down, okay, but it's high, up. it's high up. I think I liked all of my books. The book that you thought would be your number two favourite book yes. was Trumpet by Jackie Kay. Interesting. The and first what is the line? line of that is, I pull back the curtain an inch and see their heads bent together. Oh, yes. Okay, and you I liked that it was a short sentence. I liked that it was a short sentence. Okay. Pulled back the curtain to see them, whatever they were doing. Yeah. Um... Okay, I can't remember. I remember, I'm not saying, I yeah. do remember the book and I remember the story. I have no idea how I felt about it when I finished it. Okay. Maybe look at my Goodreads, see what I gave it. Okay. I mean, to be honest, I probably gave it five stars. You give everything five stars. Five stars. <laughs> but I think I was bored by it. 
Okay. But maybe I loved it. I can't remember. <laughs> so you thought it was going to be number two, and in fact it was... Above or below five people? It's very hard to say, because it was a very long time ago. Yeah. But I'm going to say above, just to, you know, for the sake of... Okay, so so far happens. you're just like literally reversing your yes. order. Yes. Okay, the book that I thought would be my number two was The Housekeeper and the Professor. Because the first line of this is... We called him the professor. Oh, yeah, and I remember trying to say that in a Scottish accent. It was quite hard. We called him the professor. Yeah. And I thought that was a really good, intriguing first line. And, yeah, I mean, I gave it five stars. Did you? Absolutely loved oh, it. should I read it? One of my favourite books of the year. Interesting. Yeah. I feel like you say that a lot, though. The but front cover makes stuff. me think of The Grinch. Because <laughs> it's like a Christmas tree. Yeah, but, it, like, there's something about that Christmas tree that's quite Grinch. Like, the, you know, the... The movie that I always want to watch and you never watch with me. Yeah. That version of The Grinch. Okay. The Jim Carrey one. Yeah. Did Should we watch The Grinch? Shall we? Like after this? Like right now. Or instead of this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put that into my number one slot. So, so oh, far, my, my one and two picks are my one and two. Okay. Just, just reverse. Okay. You thought that your number three book was going to be The Namesake by Jim Palahiri. I loved this! This was so good. Isn't it? I can't exactly remember it. On a sticky or aug- Bloody hell, this is a long sentence. On a sticky August evening, two weeks before her due date, Ashima Ganguly stands in the kitchen of a central square apartment, combining Rice Krispies and Planters Peanuts and chopped red onion in a bowl. Yeah, I think, I like, I feel like that's the kind of book that I would like. It's like, mm-hmm. I'm learning about her. I like mm-hmm. books where you, like, you sort of have a fully formed character that you can get to know, and I feel like yep. they're going to form her character. I'm so glad you have that. This, of all of the books that you had in your choice, because I hadn't read Such a Fun Age at the time, yeah. this was the one that I was like... Yeah. I need you to love it or I will be hurt. No, inside. I loved this. I thought it was so good. It won a prize. The well Pulitzer done. Prize. Yeah. They know what they're talking about. <laughs> Famous prize. Famous prize. Bit like the, what's the other one that it's always? It's always the Booker Prize. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I feel, it's a bit like it's always the election. It's always the Booker Prize. <laughs> and it's always the Olympics. Highly recommend. So Very good book. You're going to put that. Shoop. Yes. I but I that. already know that it's going to go. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. this is coming. This is coming. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. My number three. I thought I was going to choose as my number three the book Allegedly, which I no longer have here to show, which is a spoiler that I didn't like it that much because of right. things that I don't like. Because they didn't spark joy. Because it didn't spark joy. Mm. I liked it mm. fine. Mm. I actually think I gave it like a four stars, but it was like a four that's really a three. Okay. Anyway, the book Allegedly, the first line was, some children are just born bad, plain and simple. Okay, I like stories about creepy children, but I've read a ton of them and a lot of them aren't good. So just... How many books about creepy children have you read? All of them, <laughs> except this one. I mean, it's a good. I would recommend What's the story? it. So it's about a girl who is has been accused of killing a baby. That when she was a child, her mother was the babysitter of this baby, and the girl is got that accused of killing good. a baby. Yeah, and it is, it is really good, and it's a really interesting book because it's also very much about race. So it's about like this girl then gets taken into into like a home for. Um, young offenders and then she gets pregnant yeah there's so much that happens and she's like fighting for her freedom so that she can keep her baby so it's like very moving and it's a lot about like race and how people are perceived and stuff but it's just it's a young adult novel that had a lot of just like over dramatic like mystery twists and turns so i was like it's not really for me but it's a very good book fine yeah yeah okay right number four my go yeah your number four was this one the People in the Trees by Hanya yeah. Yanagihara. So the reason I thought that is because the line that I was read was by the Associated Press. <laughs> I read this. You read, oh yes, you, <laughs> you read, renowned scientist faces charges of sexual abuse. Yeah. And I didn't think I'd like that. And your, actually, your direct quote, you didn't like that that was a, a headline from the newspaper and your direct quote in the video was, I might as well just read the newspaper. <laughs> God, I'm funny. Okay, so I thought this was very interesting. I do you ever have books where you are like I don't think I would recommend it to people. Mm. It like wasn't straightforwardly good, but I think I enjoyed. Yeah. I had like a good time while reading it. Yeah. It was very weird. So no, you I thought think... it would be number four, and it was actually it was probably number three. Uh, okay, my number four, the one that I put as number four, which I'm surprised because it's quite a good line, was. Paul takes the form of a mortal girl. Okay. The first line is, like a shark, Paul had to keep moving. Yes. And I heard a whole thing. I like sharks. I like... You hate sharks. No, I hate them, but I like being scared of them. I don't think it's about a shark. 
I could stand corrected. Maybe Paul is a shark. Maybe Paul has a friend who's a shark. Maybe Paul will get eaten by a shark. Okay. It's, weird. it's nothing okay. to do with sharks. No, I, I think yeah. I <laughs> You were prepared for that. I wasn't prepared yeah. for that. But it's really good. It's a strange story about a shapeshifter in the 90s who can, like, change his body. Okay. And so he goes into... It's like a kind of tour of, like, 90s queer subcultures. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, so I really liked it, but I wish there had been more sharks in it. I thought it would be number four, and I actually put it in number two. Okay. Of my yep. rankings. Badly done, Emma. Badly done. Not as badly done as you over yeah, right. here, because moving to the bottom of this the pile. This was such a good book. Sophie, I love this yeah, book. Me too. Sophie heard the line that night when Mrs. Chamberlain called. Amira could only piece together the words, take Briar somewhere and pay you double. And she said, um... I loved this book. Yeah. I thought it was so good. Yeah, me too. If I could only recommend one book to people this year, it would be this book. This year I've been recommending this and uh, Crawdads. Yeah, and also, did I read Hearts and Visible Furies this year or last year? I anyway, those are that. my three that I'm yeah. recommending this year. But this is one of them. Yeah. I mean, first of all, it's actually just like a really enjoyable read. It's mm-hmm. just like written very, very well. But it's like, it's really complicated. It's like yeah. the more I... Because I, I read it... And I had like a very, I'm not going to say anything that happens, but like I had a very strong opinion throughout about who I thought was mm. a goodie and a baddie. Yeah. And then I was like, actually it is like, it's a little yeah. bit more nuanced yeah. than just like, so you're a bad clever. person. Uh, yeah, I don't think there are any goodies or baddies in it. Yeah. It's very like sensitively written. And I think that's why it's so powerful because, because the baddie isn't a baddie, you can relate to her. So the person who is yeah. like the villain of the book, technically, yeah. is the person I relate to the most. But you don't feel, like, horribly judged for it. It doesn't make you defensive. It just makes you, like, oh, okay. Yeah. I do do that sometimes. Yeah. It was very, very good. very, very good. Yeah. So you thought it would be number five and it was number one? It was number one. Fantastic. Yes. The book that I thought was going to be my number five. Yes. The first line was an old man packing his bags. Yes. And that was the book Akin by Emma Donoghue. Yeah. Which I don't have, but that's not because I didn't like it. It's because I cut my finger while reading it and I bled all over it. Oh, that's the... <laughs> you also yeah. bled on your ceiling. So yeah. I had to put it in the bin. I never put books in the bin, but yeah. it had blood all I couldn't yeah. give it to charity. It had blood all yeah. over it. But I loved it. So I went really, really hard in the video on how boring that line Did was. Did you? Well, that I... one's boring. <laughs> Loads of men have bags. Where's he going? What's he packing in the bag? I don't How care. many bags? Is it two bags? Is it 27 bags? <laughs> if it said an old man packing his 27 <laughs> bags, then you might it would be it. higher up my list. Here's my opinion about that whole book. Mm-hmm. Like, I loved it, yeah. but it's also kind of a boring book. <laughs> like, it's very like, like, boring in a, in a good way. It's not, yeah. it's not like full of... No. You know. But it's very sweet. It's, so it's, it's about yeah. an old man who he is old and retired and he's about to go back to Nice to like explore his family history when he gets a call and finds out that his estranged great nephew needs a home because his father's died and his mother's in prison and so he takes this boy with him and it's kind of I thought the perfect combination of being like it's very heartwarming it's very sweet it could be like cliche these two different people finding a common ground but it's somehow not cliche at all because it's not it's not sugary sweet like there's nice moments but it's not like this perfect happy ending tied in a bow. It's more yeah. realistic than that. Of like they find a way to bond with each other, but it's not perfect and it's not going yeah. to be a solution forever. But, but no, it's, it's good. It's, it's really very good. good. But I bled yeah. on it. Oh hooray! So that was my blood. I predicted number five. And I think I would put it number three. So, so I, you did a better job than I did. I think my I could final have done worse. order. My number two becomes my number one. Why is it here then? It needs to be here. <laughs> Because it, it doesn't float. <laughs> we'll give you a number five. Then. Okay. Okay. My number three became my number five. Okay. There it is. There it is. The next one's going to have to float. <laughs> my. N- yeah. <laughs> this is too hard to do. <laughs> this is difficult <laughs> and not interesting. <laughs> That's not do <different>. it. <laughs> Basically, we both got them so wrong. Yeah, we got them so wrong. But long story short. This is a very good book. And this is a very good book. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you... You could just skip to the end of this video. And, and neither of us <laughs> predicted either of these. <laughs> Before you go, I'm going to tell you about Skillshare, who sponsored this video. Skillshare. 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 You scare shells. <laughs>
So Skillshare is an online learning community. They've got thousands of classes on there, which are all about boosting your creative skills. And this is the perfect time for doing that because we're all stuck inside at home anyway. So yeah. you might as well be learning some new skills. So I have been trying out a class on writing character-driven short stories, which is taught by Ian Lee. It's NaNoWriMo at the moment, National Novel Writing Month. I am not going to write a novel because I've never written anything longer than like a paragraph in my life. But oh, you managed to say NaNoWriMo really quickly. Thank you very much. Yeah. And I thought I would try writing a short story in November. So I've been taking that class, which has been great. She gives you little prompts and stuff like based on Yelp reviews that she's found or even an obituary at one point. And it's all about kind of learning how to develop these characters in a really short space of time. There is also another creative writing course on there. Well, there's loads, but there's one I saw taught by Roxanne Gay, which I really want to do because she's great. And that one is called Crafting Personal Essays with Impact. So I'm definitely going to do that one next. And it's also all about unlocking your creativity and finding new ways to express yourself and add your voice to the conversations going on out there and find a community of other creative people. So if you want to join the first 1,000 people to use my link, which I'll put in the description box below, will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And after that, it's around $10 a month. So that's it. Join Skillshare. <laughs> Like this video, tell us if you've read any of these books, and if you like our t-shirts. <laughs> Do you like our t-shirts? <laughs> Do you like our t-shirts? <laughs>